it's Todd. I've got Reveille here to do the same uh, car exercise. Now, I don't know if I if I showed it on the first video, but Reveille would not jump in the car at all when we got him. He would put his feet up there, and he would expect it to be picked up. And he's not a small dog, so it was it's much better for him to get under his own power. We know he doesn't have hip, hip problems or things like that. Um, so it's much better for him to do it himself. So let's send him up into the car a couple times. Reveille. Oh, he sees some, he sees some yard guys. Come here, buddy. Come here, Rev. Come here, hop. Good. And as I work the dog, I should be able to send the dog to the destination from farther and farther away. And what, what some dog trainers call that is casting the dog. I should be able to cast it and send it. Come here. Hop. Good. Anyway, I thought you guys would like to see that if you're having trouble getting your dog to get in the car.